Welcome to my channel, Kalani Pep Talks, and you are listening to Evia. King Eurystheus of Mycenae was growing increasingly frustrated by Hercules' string of victories and the adoration he received from the people. Determined to humble the mighty hero, King Eurystheus devised a plan to assign him a task that was both challenging and demeaning. Hercules was given the seemingly impossible task of cleaning the filthy and neglected stable of King Aegeus in Elis. The stable had accumulated mountains of animal dung and had not been cleaned in a long time. King Eurystheus believed that Hercules would refuse to undertake such an indecent job, tarnishing his image as the son of Zeus. Little did he know the depths of Hercules' humility and dedication to his duty. Without a hint of hesitation, Hercules humbly accepted King Eurystheus' command and set off for the kingdom of Aegeus. For Hercules, the need to cleanse his sins was far more important than any personal pride. Hercules approached King Aegeus and offered his services to clean the infamous stable. However, he did not reveal that he was acting under the orders of King Eurystheus. Zeus's son negotiated with Aegeus for payment and they reached an agreement. If Hercules could clean the stable in just one day, he would be rewarded with the tenth of the king's vast flock. But if he failed, he would receive nothing. To solidify the agreement, King Aegeus summoned his son to bear witness to their arrangement. Instead of immediately grabbing a shovel, Hercules had a different plan in mind. With his incredible strength, he went to the nearby river Alpheos and hurled massive rocks into its waters, diverting the course of the river towards Aegeus' stable. As the powerful river rushed through the stable doors, it washed away all the accumulated filth, leaving the stable clean and spotless. Hercules then allowed the river to return to its natural course. King Aegeus, witnessing the miraculous transformation of his once filthy stable without Hercules even soiling his hands, was astounded. However, when Hercules approached him to collect his rightfully earned payment, the king deceitfully denied ever making such an agreement. But to the king's dismay, his own son Phineas stood up and confirmed that he had indeed witnessed the deal. Enraged by his father's treachery, Phineas asserted the truth. Faced with his own son's testimony, King Aegeus had no choice but to acknowledge the agreement. In a fit of rage, Hercules was expelled from the kingdom along with the honorable prince Phineas. However, Hercules would not tolerate such humiliation. Determined to right the wrong, he gathered an army of Phobans and led a revolt against King Aegeus. Eventually, they dethroned the treacherous king and installed the honorable prince Phineas in his father's seat. And there you have it, dear viewers. Hercules' unwavering determination and righteous actions not only cleansed the stable, but also brought justice to the kingdom of Aegeus. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my interesting videos.